Hey folks, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.8 Adventure LP. I just woke up from my little nap, and I think it's time to stretch the muscles and get the blood flowing. So, quick calisthenics. One, two, three, left, right, left, right. Touch the toes. One, two, uh, touch the ceiling. Ah, all good. Whew, okay, ready to descend into the dark depths of the cavern below and kick some butt. Or not. But first, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff because I don't want to bring it down there with me. Just in case I croak. I know, I know, that's a silly notion. <laughs> with an expert player like me. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, it happens. And if I die, I want to be able to re-equip. Just in case I fall in a pit of lava. I do have a tendency to do that. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I did ask at the last episode whether or not you folks wanted me to go back to the surface, which is up there, or down there. And my guess is it was a pretty close 50-50 split, as is normal in cases like this on YouTube when you ask a question and you've got two choices it's usually a good split maybe we had a few more downward votes very possibly I didn't count them but I had made up my mind already anyway frankly <laughs> I was headed down here because I love dark caverns so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here and explore and hopefully find some of the new features in 1.8, like a stronghold or at least abandoned mines. I haven't seen a silverfish yet either. I would like to do that. Oh, greetings, young sir. I don't want to waste my arrow on you. This is a nice cave. Quite expansive. I love the new feature, the, the, the new map generator. Things definitely look more natural, more natural, more flowing, organic looking. All right, you stay there while I gather this coal. Okay, good boy. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention was in the old, in the in the last video. Actually, it might have been in the first episode, I believe, um, episode one. I showed you the difference in the darkness, the contrast of um, what I'm seeing as I'm playing the game. And that was before I up, upped the brightness from you know, zero moody to, uh, to 35%. Oh, popped out the other side. So right now I'm at 35% and it looks good. I can see right there relatively far, a lot farther than I could without that new setting. So that's really... Uh, quite welcome feature. Hold on. What? No critical? Give me a stinking rotten flesh. So now, see, I can see that far. I see a dude walking around down there. I can't see features in the wall like ores at this distance, but um, before that setting, I couldn't... I could definitely not see that wall. It would, it would have been pure darkness. So that's a big help. <laughs> what do you have? Hold on. You have your legs. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez, so feisty around here. Not done chatting about darkness. So, in many cases, it was one of those things where I'd be walking in a dark cavern. I'd be like, well, I don't see any coal. And it's like right there. <laughs> You know? <laughs> in fact, it did happen in the first episode. And that's why I wanted to show you the difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so awesome. That's why I had um, lowered the brightness to show you exactly what I saw. You know, this is what I see, and it was really dark, and then I put the brightness back to the normal setting because what happens when I load this into Adobe I use Adobe Premiere Elements I'm gonna have to hop up here for that guy it um, it has a brightness setting and I can increase the setting the brightness 
of the video, which I do in all the videos. Just one little stinking piece. Yes. Oh, Enderman. They're a new color now. Oh, hello. I'm going to practice this. I love this. Charge! Just make sure when you do that, there isn't a solid wall behind. Because <laughs> you got to bounce right back. Didn't I ever tell you Bumble's bounce? Yeah, another quote from a ridiculously old show. Wow. Look at this. This is just a wall of gravel. Don't know why I'm so intrigued by that wall of gravel. Enderman here. All right, let's go get that Enderman, shall we? You never know when you'll need an Ender Pearl. I have no idea what they do. I think they protect me from Enderman or something. So as I was saying, the darkness setting. So I did miss um, some coal in that very first cavern in the first day of this ep of this LP. I was like, I don't see any coal down here, and I literally was the cursor was on it it was ridiculous because when i played the video back it was like this oh don't see no coal her <laughs> her herpaderp is that what kids say these days herpaderp so i herpaderped and when i watched the video when i replayed it i was like oh my gosh i can't i can't let them see this this is ridiculous i look like a goofball staring right at it and it the only reason it does that you know, I, I couldn't see it when i play the game because like i said it was so dark and i increased the brightness a good 20, 30, 40 percent even in Adobe. So when I render the video out and take a look, it's like, oh my god, what are you, blind? Alright, let's, um, let's, 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 let's make a goal. Let's make a goal. Our goal is get that Enderman. You're not an Enderman, imposter. Yeah, come over here and fight. Come over here and fight like a an undead man. Ah, I was trying to get the... Ooh, I'm hungry. So, after your first run in strike... Oh, no, 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 no! Yowza! Okay, so... Oh! That's where you came from. That was my helmet. Pretty good. I really need to get better equipped. Oh! No! Yeah, you think so too? He's like, yeah, yeah, sure you do, sure you do. You spaz. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Yeah, I think I need to get better equipped. So the hunger thing is pretty cool. I guess. I was... I was a little critical of it yesterday. Saying, you know, it's just too easy. A lot of food. And that's true. Food is super prevalent. I mean, everything drops food now, just about. But, um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really help if, you're, if your health is low and you can't eat the food. The food doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't heal you like a healing kit. And that was my biggest gripe. But you know what? It really doesn't. All right, buddy, you're going down now, fool. Come back here. I got my stuff. I was hoping to survive forever in this game and not die. That was probably wishful thinking. All right, there's a spider over there. So let me back up, re-equip. Yeah, I think that was that's probably a pipe dream. Alright, no, you don't go there. You go there. You go there. You go here. And don't need rotting flesh in my hot bar. Catch some rotting flesh, evil beast. For some reason, I don't think that'll be very effective. Uh, Enderman appears to be gone. Chicken. I'm sure he's afraid. Let's do this. Let's let's light some of this area up so I don't keep getting jumped left and right. Hello? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just looking around. Love the new map gen. I really do. Oh, there's some iron. Hey, caramba. All right, let's see if I get this jump. <laughs> Missed. Got my torch though, didn't you? Alright, well. Go ahead. 
Kill my torches, I'll make more. Ooh, mushroom, and I, oh, I wanted to try something with mushrooms. No, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> going to build something with it. This is a dangerous place. So many openings. Get that iron. I'm gonna get some more iron. I need an immediate goal, don't I? And never do this, but I'm in a hurry. The immediate goal will be to get as much iron as possible, go back to my little hovel, and uh, make some more armor. I really need to be better equipped. Playing on hard, you do take a lot more damage when you get smacked. So, oh. I forgot light pops these guys off lunch. Pop! A lot of movement. Lots of movement. Now, sounds like the Cyphus, just above. Skellius. This is lovely. Wants lots of iron. And there is certainly more iron in 1.8. Okay, dead end. Well, while I'm here, I know I'm passing a lot, a lot of coal. There's just tons of it. I don't want to spend too much time mining coal. So I'll grab a few pieces and then go. I think I'll make some more torches though. All that motion is making me scared. Hmm. Sheep finds that funny. Thought I heard a sizzle. Gotta get my torches closer to my weapon. Alright, putting torches on the left here, I'm not really very good about that. <laughs> yeah, that was my slide to the left in case lava falls on you. Come here. Come hither, iron. Hither. That's a good word. Oh, really? The sound of caves. Music to my ears. Just a quick peek around. You never know. Something's creeping up on you. So yeah, I was a little critical of the foodie thingy. The health bar and so much food. But um, that last demonstration of my death is probably a good demonstration showing that, you know what? Just not having the ability to eat food and heal up instantly is a major improvement in and of itself. It really is. It may require some tweaking. The amount of food, anyway. But we're still a beta here. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to go down here, I guess. Ow. <laughs> that was my wrist. It just snapped. Hold on. Coffee time. It's relatively early in the morning here. No, it's not. I'm kidding. It's 10.30. For me, it's early. Super high humidity today. I'm going to try to stay in and not go out. I do have an appointment later to take care of, but I'd like to get a little playtime in. So, my thoughts about this LP and I'm going to chat about Um, hold up. Hold up. So, I, you know, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go with this and how long I'll play this LP. But uh, with Minecon coming eight, coming eight, coming out, and 1.9 probably being released sooner than later. I may just play this until the Minecon, which is November, and then start fresh with another one. 
This is going to be solely, or at least 90% focused on actual adventure. A building. I really don't want to settle anywhere. Um, I may make a little hovel somewhere, a little house. Or find an NPC village and just move in. Alright, you know what? I have a tendency to look forward straight down the cavern just looking for some fun stuff to kill without looking at the walls for stuff. Okay. Alright, all good. This looks like a dead end. Oh. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to leave that lit up. So I know I've been there. Somebody's splashing. And I don't think it's a friend. Friend or foe. Boy, you gotta be ready with that second strike if your knockback doesn't work. Ooh, spider. Ooh, spider. have any bones? No. I wanted to try something with that mushroom. Apparently there's a giant mushroom at 1.8. I haven't seen yet. But you can uh, throw some bone meal on a mushroom and it will pop up into a massive mushroom and you can actually live in the thing. It's like a portable shelter. Which could be really interesting for Man vs. Minecraft. Here you, Spidey. Enderman, there he is. Oh gosh, I thought I just looked at him. You know, they're kind of... Oh, 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 oh. I think my cursor brushed him very, very briefly. And he got mad. Not mad enough to come after me, though, apparently. All right, let's go take him out. So he looks like his colors, his eye color has changed. He's now a purpley... Got purple eyes and a purpley aura about him. Her, it, whatever. Oh, there's way too many openings here. This is not the place to get into a fight. Not an ideal place, rather. A lot of iron. Lotto iron. Let's grab it all. In fact, I'm going to try to get the high ground in this guy. I wonder... I know he does this teleport thing, right? But how high... Ooh, got some spider here floating in front of me. So my office is in my basement. And there's a lot of spiders down here. <laughs> and I think a big mama spider laid some eggs. Because there are tons of these little guys flipping around all around my monitor. They just all of a sudden float down in front of me. They're teeny. They're minuscule. So I just brush them away or blow them away. I like spiders. They eat the bad bugs. But he's like, kill him, my gosh, a spider! Kill him! I'm like, no! I pick him up and let him out. Spider's good. Right, I'm gonna eat this pork. No, no. Just get it out of my inventory, get a full strength health bar. Aha! You ain't fooling me, you little spaz. I see you. Okay, that's gonna be dangerous. All right, let's go stupefy somebody. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I can just draw him out. I don't like fighting on uneven ground, though. Especially with these pitfalls like this. Oh, there's two of them. Ay, caramba! 
Hello. <laughs> Friend. I wish I spoke Enderman. I could tell them how much I really appreciate them. And how I just want to be friends. No. no. Oh, you. Little spaz. Uh, is that three Endermen? I didn't know they came in groups. Alright, just don't look at him. I'm just gonna take this and be off. Don't mind me. Wow, check it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just don't look in their eyes. Now that sound they make, that's the, obviously the zombie sound. It's placeholder, I'm sure. Until it can be replaced with some other sound that's more appropriate. Not already being used by a different mob. <laughs> first one I met, I'm like, what, Zombie 2? Oh my gosh, I'm looking all around. Didn't realize it was the Enderman making all that noise. So what, hmm, three. I wonder if I attack one, if the others will hop in. I mean, if they're good friends, that's what they would do. But I'm not sure about the Enderman culture, and whether or not they prefer to fight alone, some kind of honorable, you know, honor thing. Or if they all jump you at once. Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. However, I want to do that right now. <laughs> Spider! Oh yeah, lava. I'd like to find some precious gems. Hey, what? That's a nice shot you got there, buddy. Wow. I am impressed. See, he's got the new bow, too. Yeah, go ahead. Just fall down there with your little brother. I can't reach you, can I? Come closer. Oh, another one gonna come flying out of that door. Oh, look at that! The experience orbs just floated right up to me. You got floaty balls! Spider way over there in the fog and light down there. Must be lava. Boop. Hey, thanks. See, this is what I miss in like a man versus Minecraft. I can just do this. Boop. And sometimes I forget. I'm like, alright, how am I going to get over there? Jeez, I got to walk all the way around. <laughs> Hello! I'm just so used to those rules. Okay. This is cool. It's like a labyrinth. Scary, dark, dangerous labyrinth. I still use the appropriate tool. I just find it more interesting, I guess. It's certainly more effective, but you don't have to use a shovel to dig. My shovel's about to croak. Oh, wow, that's high. <laughs> Let there be light, please. Right, let's back out of here. All right, let me check out the iron situation. 33, that's pretty darn awesome. <laughs> 